Simon Sanchez High School found another written bomb threat in one of their restrooms, making it the fourth bomb threat the Guam Department of Education received in just a week. PNC's Rosel Romanes has a story. Safety measures continue at Simon Sanchez High School after another written bomb threat was discovered in a restroom. This time, the bomb threat is scheduled for January 21st. Fortunately, the um, administration from Simon Sanchez uh, re received a report from students that, again, there was another uh, writing uh, in one of the restrooms uh, scheduling a bomb threat for a Thursday. Um, not really sure what the situation is about scheduling bomb threats, but in those two cases, it was a threat of a uh, upcoming kind of uh, bomb threat. This is the third bomb threat found at the Jigo campus in just a week. Last week, Tuesday, this written bomb threat was reported by students inside the women's restroom. A couple of days later, another written bomb threat was discovered in the men's restroom. Then on Friday, Southern High School was placed on lockdown and students were sent home during lunch after yet another bomb threat written also in one of the restrooms. Because of the recent bomb threats, GDOE is enforcing safety measures at Sanchez. GDOE acting Deputy Superintendent Chris Anderson says the school is also coordinating with the Guam Police Department. Uh, they're still continuing to do sweeps uh, both in the morning and the afternoon. Uh, they're closing down their campus at 3 o'clock. Uh, there are some after-school activities that are still going to be allowed to take effect. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a home game on Thursday. Um, so those areas in which the campus needs to be used by uh, whether it's uh, sports uh, teams or uh, any other any other kind of uh, approved uh, club organization, uh, students will be limited to only those areas, and the rest of the campus will be off limits. Another measure includes a restroom monitor where students have to sign in and sign out if they wish to use the restroom. Anderson says these bomb threats, whether it's just a prank, are taken seriously not only by GDOE but GPD as well. We want students to be fully aware of the fact that uh, this type of behavior is classified as terroristic conduct. Uh, from a DOE perspective, uh, this type of behavior uh, is subject to suspension and possible expulsion. Uh, from you know, a Guam Police Department side, of course, this is a criminal offense, uh, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's a serious one at that. And so the students really need to understand the full implications of what this means if they're found uh, you know, uh, responsible for, for these kinds of uh, threats. Rosal Romanes, PNC News. For more information, please contact Simon Sanchez High School at 653-2313.